So the other day, I was really curious how people defined a gamer, because I feel like that's a, that's a question that's pretty relevant right now. Who's a gamer? Who isn't a gamer? And so I just went out and asked people. Let's see what they had to say. Hmm, that's a tough question. Um, probably someone who really like gets into the game and uh, is like big on competition. They're just so focused on like what they're doing. But they kind of like tone out the rest of the world and they get really good at the game that they're doing. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of one of those titles where you can call yourself one if you want, but if you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, not necessarily like a type of person, because it ranges from, from all types of people. I would probably um, classify based on the amount of time that they played. I'd say probably close to two and a half hours would, would you know, I mean, you're pretty much a gamer of, of some sorts, and, and, and up through probably five, six hours a day. qualify yourself as a gamer if you're playing more than an hour of games a day. Like, like I said, I think gamer is kind of a self-qualified or self-determined label. You know, if you play Farmville and you think you're a gamer because of it, then awesome. Or if you play Farmville and you don't think you're a gamer, then sure you're not. You know? Well, I figure it's someone who plays video games. See, but... Uh, before I would think of a dark room and real obsessed and, you know, not doing their schoolwork and things like that. Now, I think it's just maybe a good form of recreation. So, and they can be good people and well-rounded and on the ball. Not losers, maybe. Whereas before I would have thought it's something that losers do. I don't know, just someone who sits at home usually and plays video games instead of doing other things with their life. I think that's stupid to label it anymore. Like, if you like games, you like games. Like, I hate the whole, like, gatekeeper nerdist, like, ideology that, like, oh, you need to know this and this and this and this and name your favorite video game that only they didn't come out in mainstream or you're not a real gamer. I think that's bullshit. So, were they right? Were they wrong? Did they miss something? Let me know. Comment down below um, or reach me on Twitter. Either way, I want to know what your definition of a gamer is. Personally, I think that if you think you're a gamer, you're a gamer. I don't really care if you're playing on a smartphone, if you're playing on a tablet, if you have a console, if you have a PC, if you have a Mac, if you're using any of those things to play a game and you think that that makes you a gamer, you're a gamer. Good for you. <laughs> and I just, I think it's stupid to say that you have to know, you know, a huge history of video games or you have to have been playing since you were three years old to call yourself a gamer. That's ridiculous. You're a gamer if you want to be. So, you know. Put put gamer on your resume. Go buy a Walmart t-shirt and write it on your on your shirt that says I'm a gamer and go walk through town. Or or don't. I don't know. Whatever whatever you want to do. That's that's the point of this. Anyway guys, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and as always, you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Medium. Those links are in the description down below. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.